Yeah, let's go Elon. Um, so Elon stood in front of all employees at SpaceX for a hands-on meeting, um, all hands meeting, sorry. The meeting went for about an hour. Um, he just went over all of the um, achievements SpaceX made throughout the year while also kind of informing the employees what SpaceX expects out of 2024. Um, yeah. But he revealed that there is going to be some new additions to both Star Base and also Starship. And I just wanted to concentrate more so on the updates around Starship because that is the biggest and best rocket ever. Um, so first up, uh, we have an explanation from Musk on why Starship exploded during its flight to second orbital attempt flight. That was, I think it was in December. No, I don't know. It was late last was year. About then, yeah. Yeah, it was approximately yeah, late last year. Um, both for uh, for those that don't know, the flight one, flight two, both ended in explosions, and while that might sound disheartening um that is the process with these things mm -hmm. that is the developmental process with rockets especially ones that have are pushing the envelope of what's possible in terms of flight starship is the biggest object that is ever taken to the skies um it is yep. the biggest rocket it is the biggest uh it's the most powerful rocket it's never been done before. The envelope is being pushed forward by SpaceX. So uh, Musk said on stage that while stage separation, which is the uh, booster separating from the Starship vehicle itself, was achieved, which is monumental milestone for reaching orbit. Um, the only reason Starship didn't reach orbit is that SpaceX decided to... Um, release the liquid oxygen which led to a fire on the side of the rocket itself and boom um now musk said we normally wouldn't have have uh, wouldn't have that liquid oxygen if we had a payload so ironically if we had a payload it would have reached orbit right which is a bit un uh, i mean that's mm. um unfortunate because it would have been awesome if starship reached orbit on um its second flight but musk said during the present presentation that he's they're very confident that this flight um flight three the upcoming flight will reach orbit which will be a humongous mm. um step forward especially considering how many times previous like the Falcon 9, um, Falcon Heavy, yep. how many times those rockets exploded before they were able to reach orbit. Once orbit is really reached, the timeline for 2024 is, uh, I think they want to land it in the ocean first and then they want to do the tower. They want it because SpaceX are, they've set up a tower that, is designed to have chopsticks and they want to catch the largest object ever flown ever with two little arms so starship will fall right down in the middle there and then the two little arms will brace it um 2024 spacex are aiming to um hopefully have in the bag uh, what are they? I want to try and remember the official name for this, but it's when you refill in orbit, which oh, is okay, critical, yeah. critical Refueling, for, yep. um, critical for trips to the moon, trips to. It's just critical for just expla uh, exploration of the solar system in general. Just being able to get that tech nailed down, of being able yeah. to pull up Starship, being able to pull <laughs> up next to a um, essentially a petrol station in space suck down all of its fuel and then continue on its journey that that's, will be a, that's the thing right like <clears throat> like any sort of like science fiction thing or futuristic thing like you know they the one that the ones that are realistic like you know when it comes mm. to like refueling obviously that's in orbit but also like spaceship construction like that's all done in orbit yeah. because then you don't have to worry about leaving an atmosphere like you know like if it's like a yeah. rocket or something like that you would that would be like 
built or like put together in space, fueled up in space mm. and then take off from there and then and then like you go into orbit and then like land with like a lander or whatever the mm. case is. Like you like it's not um it's not efficient to like have like tons and tons of fuel and giant rockets going up and down on the planetary surface. It's just not feasible in the long term. So, yeah. So this is cool. Like all these tests will just move us closer and closer to that. He expects he being Musk expects that we're gonna have we're going to be they're going to be working on or even having that complete that tech completed by the end of this year and just um yeah. and if you I mean, follow anything musk does his timelines are let's just say optimistically optimistic. shot to hell <laughs> um so take that with a grain of salt but spacex is making progress that is for yeah. sure and i wouldn't be surprised if flight three we do reach orbit with starship I hope um it does. I really hope it does as well. That would be awesome. Another um, stage. I don't know, not stage. I just want to make sure I got this here. So another thing that he mentioned during the um, presentation is that they were going to be constructing a second tower. They call it the two tower, uh, two towers in Texas. So. One a of to the Lord of the Rings. Uh, that's immediately what I thought. Okay. <laughs> I, I had to stop myself from putting. Towers, it's like yeah, I had to stop myself from putting a an image of the two towers in this article. But you should have. <laughs> that would have been just for me. Um, so Starship and the towers, they're going to essentially become symbiotic that like when one starship lands and the other tower is being worked on and right. that one will go off and yeah so there'll be constant upgrades they just want starship to be flying as many times as it possibly can and musk actually said during the presentation that um when starship has reached orbit and it has passed all these developmental phases um and let's just say is fully operational it will be launching multiple times a day from multiple locations around the world 